Hello everyone, welcome to the crazy project where I'm manually mining an entire Minecraft world They're completely by end and uh, we have a little bit of a situation over here You see my community went into insult mode and they want me to mine a chunk after I have uh, mined 12 million blocks so, uh, rude guys, rude, come on, mining a chunk, what do you mean mining a chunk, that's, uh, that's for amateurs. I will mine your chunk, then we need to have a talk, and if I press F3 and G, now we have the chunk borders, and I picked up that mountain over here, because I'm pretty sure that that mountain has a big cave down there, I pretty much know it, that is hollow, the other one is hollow, so I think this one will be the area of the world that is still a little bit pristine, that can make it a little bit cooler. Before starting the episode, I came over here and I uh, did more or less defining the border of that chunk, which is going to be this thing over here. I am not going to bring the beacon to mine the chunk, I think that would be an asshole in terms of logistics, I'm just going to mine a chunk without the beacon, and then, then uh, yeah, l let's have a talk, we need to figure it out this situation. the beacon like 10 minutes after <laughs> I start this I realized that I needed the beacon so I did a uh, two side hole and uh, you know never dig straight down always dig in pairs so you don't fall into your dead because you can find one of these caves nowadays and they will kill you trust me I died <laughs> well yeah, the, the, there you go, you mine it like this and you can figure it out your way to, to there and uh, this layer, in case you are asking, is layer 63. This is where usually surface is and <laughs> there is still so much to... Yeah, well, it was a good idea to do it in the mountain, it really makes it interesting, so uh, yeah, the insult guys, uh, come on guys, I, I never feel insulted by you, it's so cool to have you interact with me, always feel free to leave comments, to interact and to put these challenges, I will do my best to make them as cool as possible. Now, I need to go repair the tools, drop stuff, and by the way, I will try uh, to have all the ores uh, stored in, a, in the same chest, just by the end of the episode, I'm going to tell you how much ores are actually in a chunk, so uh, yeah, uh, there you go. Go! Chunk is mined, we have actually the chance for uh, the first time to use our netherite hoe and I have died a couple of times. I, I, I really tried to, to make a small uh, water uh, elevator here but uh, yeah, uh, let's say it didn't went that well. Anyway, I guess it's time to end the episode, Chunk is mined and uh, yeah, you know it's a joke, come on guys, it's a chunk, we have done it, now we need to up our game. I was thinking what I could do to make this thing a little bit more interesting and uh, well one chunk was not that big of a hustle with uh, the beacon over there so then I thought I could make you know a 4x4 four four chunk but the 4x4 four four would also be a little bit uh, low I think a 16x16 16 16 would be too much so I think we are going to do a 9 chunk thing which is essentially uh, this chunk, this chunk, this one, that one eh, you know it's just the bigger square that represents this chunk so I will very very quickly repair the tools, then I will, uh, well, start the perimeter for the 9 uh, chunks and uh, yeah, let's go, let's see if we can mine 9 chunks until the end of the episode. And by the way, stick to the end because I, I'm going to show you the full scope of force that we get. <laughs>
not gonna lie, I'm starting to regret the 16 shank thing, I should have gone with the 4, but yeah, well, there we are, slow and steady, the nicest thing is that by the end of the episode I am going to have so many ores, it's, it's crazy the amount of ores that I'm getting. <laughs> starting to realize that uh, mistakes were made. You see, these caves are a very great sight because the, there is one thing that I didn't thought about the chunks, which is a uh, 9 chunk means that it's 3 times 16, which is 48. Now 48 times 48 is roughly 2300 blocks, 2300 blocks times 160, which is the top over there it's more than 350,000 blocks uh, yeah I, I, I might have taken a little bit more than what I can chew but uh, you know me you know me it's time to step up and keep mining <laughs> for those that are curious. I am a little bit uh, scared that it <laughs> it's still... Guys, layer 81 means that I am 81 layers to the zero then 63 layers of deep slate, which deep slate, you know that slow me a lot, so I really hope that these caves will come into my rescue and they allow me to speed up a little bit, but uh, yeah, let's see, let's see. The, the, the upside is that I'm getting a lot of force. <laughs> have a problem <laughs> yeah um, I might have triggered a warden um, hello buddy hello hello can I actually kill the warden from a pier from the safety of the cliff oh man I can 
Wait, what? Ah! Uh, will it take a lot? Let me... Yeah, uh, let's kill the warden. One eternity later. Took a while. But you died, buddy. This time, you died. Um, yeah, we need to be a little bit careful uh, um, right now with this deep dark. I might actually probably do a small segment where I go very, very quickly remove all of those things. But yeah, there we go. We are actually um, reaching places. The caves are speeding us up, but the deep dark and the warden is going to get a problem that I might want to deal with before but yeah we are also almost deep slit level so uh, we, we can more or less see the light at the end of the tunnel <music>
bedrock and uh, I, I will say it, this was one of the biggest challenges so far on the project but I really enjoyed doing it although I think this will probably be the only single time that I'm actually going to mine like that I, I truly think I prefer my uh, natural uh, stair patterns but you know what I'm going to leave in the community a vote for you to tell me what is your opinion and which one you like the most but meanwhile let's uh, let's go to our base of operations I, I need to give you some statistics show you the yours and uh, yeah wrap up the general episode all right people first and foremost the amount of blocks that we have in total there you go 12 million six hundred and sixty nine thousand blocks mm, pretty good if you ask me not that bad and if we go to a more uh, detailed statistics we can see that we surpassed the eight million blocks of stone not that bad as well we are close to the one and a half million blocks of dirt and deep slate we really surpassed the two hundred thousand not bad not bad at all but the most important and what everyone is probably watching this is the result of one chunk and that is the nine chunk so this is what we actually get from mining one chunk, the initial chunk, and this is what we got from mining the nine chunks. It's uh, it's crazy, it's insane, and you guys know how I uh, usually operate. So the diamonds, I'm going to pick them, I'm going to make a small tower, I'm going to fortune them, and let's see how many diamonds we get in the end. Almost as tall as our storage building. Now would be a great time for uh, you guys to go to the comments and bet how many diamonds we get and uh, you, you guys already know the, the, the deal and huh? there is a deal when we do this is that you need to leave as many likes as diamonds that we get so I, I really hope that we can make it because I'm, I'm really hoping that we can get really a lot of diamonds from this and we got a great total of 361 diamonds. Can we get 361 likes? Most likely no, I doubt that we can even get 361 views, but <laughs> there we go people, there we go, this is what we get, it was a lot and now I, I need to smelt all of that uh, huge pile of things. So I really hope that you've enjoyed guys, this was a crazy one, I enjoyed doing it a lot, I really hope that you also uh, enjoyed it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys, I really again hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one.